Last one was a little weird because we had a horde, even though we're not supposed to have Blood Moon hordes in Romero mod. It's apparently a thing, even though it's not a thing. Here we are in the electronics store. We kind of went through one of these recently, if I remember. Just trying to kind of get my bearings. Oh, hey, look at that. We have one of these guys over here. Let's break that down. I did forget to do one thing before I started today, and that is I forgot to set the difficulty at maximum. My bad. Uh, we'll, we'll get around to that eventually. I mean, look at this. This is just kind of unfair. I feel bad for these guys. I suckered them all into this sort of choke point, and they are choking. It's great. I'm not worried about them. I'm not worried about them at all. I don't know if we're looking for anything specific in here, but I'm guessing we probably should be looking at, you know, things like the boxes. Eh, whatever. I'll just go ahead and leave that. That's fine. You have a good time in there, because I'm not interested in you. And we'll take that, and you guys have a good time. How's it going? So where do we have boxes in this place? I don't remember. I want to say there might be one or two along the rafters here, and then we're going to have lots of zombies drop in. And I guess I need to pay more attention to what's going on. Because these guys keep surprising me. I mean, they're not really surprising me. I'm just... I'm not paying attention, because I'm looking... Up high, I'm trying to find this stuff. So I'm kind of hoping that we'll be able to find, I don't know, maybe a bot or something. Some sort of turret, drone, whatever. Don't really care, one or both. Or all, because there's technically two kinds of turrets. I don't know, whatever. Here, let's go in here. This is uh, pretty quick to get into this room. And we're in. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, scrap and scrap. I've been trying to be a little better about scrapping some things, so before we started this episode, I did queue up, oh my gosh, a few things for the scrap heap, so let's go ahead and maybe use one of those guys, just so we can kind of stay on top of health here. And that's going to get rid of that guy and probably get rid of that one, because I don't think we need him. And those mods end up being worth a fair amount of metal. Which, I'll be honest, I kind of forget that they're worth a good solid chunk of metal. Didn't mean to do that. We gotta get rid of some bones and crap. There we go. Um, hey, can I do that one too? Drop. Thank you for that. So, I mean, we're basically already filled up with inventory space again, which is hilarious. But it is what it is. Oh no, there are zombies everywhere. Who would have guessed it? Not me. Oh, good shot there, buddy. Good shot. Oh, um. Problem for you is I have arrows. And I have pretty decent aim today. I mean, not great. Oh, hi, kitty. Um, I'm going to blame that one on my cat. Even though she actually jumped on my, my arm after I'd already released the shot. But don't tell her that. Actually, you probably should tell her that. I don't want to give her a, any sort of, um, I don't know. Can't think of the word I want. Complex, that's that's it. I don't want to give her a complex about that. She thinks she's helping when she jumps up or she doesn't care. I'm, I'm really not sure which. She is a cat after all. I don't really feel like reading those guys, so I'm not going to. And we do have that crap in... Uh, do we have room right now for, for mods? Sorry, I just had the thought. Uh, that one can take one more, so we'll put on... Where'd the customized fittings mod go? There it goes. We'll take that. And then we'll scrap that, scrap that. Scrap that. Take that. And we have done good work in here. And I will take back that steel arrow. Thank you very kindly. I think technically we are maxed out on inventory right now. There it is. I thought so. Thank you for the confirmation game. We will go ahead and get out of here. And we're basically just going to rip through a bunch of these POIs out in the desert today. That's kind of the plan. Because that sounds like a good idea to me. I mean... Hello? Why not? Speaking of good ideas, we probably shouldn't be using... 
the spear right now out in the desert, because that's just going to add extra heat, which reminds me, I keep forgetting to do something. I'll remember one of these days. There you go, just like that, we do have a little bit of inventory space available. I'm going to get rid of the Gravedigger mod. And I think that's probably all we need to really get rid of right now. I do want to go into the car lot just for a moment. I don't remember there being a whole lot of loot in here, per se. So for the most part, I think we'll skip checking a lot of this stuff. I do like checking cars, because you never know. Cars are just kind of the the great random box of crap. You never know what you're going to get. And it's kind of fun just to see what you'll get out of them. Sometimes it's awesome stuff, sometimes it's not. Okay, get rid of you, sir. Get rid of you and your face. Hi, how you doing? And I do like the machete. I mean, I think I still prefer the the old Alpha 16, 17, 18, whatever, before the change to the new, or I guess I really should say, nope, try that again, current animations, but I don't know, it's still pretty good. It is pretty satisfying when you chop a head off like we just did there. I mean, maybe not the exploding as much, especially with the, ma the machete. It's like, why is the head exploding? But the just straight up cutting off of the head, it's pretty good. Yes, we'll take those. And I guess, I think I've been pretty bad about destroying these things. So my bad, we'll go ahead and destroy this one now. It's already destroyed, so let's re-destroy it. We'll destroy it further. And we'll go ahead and take that stuff, sure. Oh yeah, good stuff right there, no complaints. Mainly what I kind of wanted to come in here and look for is these boxes up here. Mm, we really don't have room for more parts. I mean, we're just going to have to trash them is what's going to happen. And that's fine. But these boxes here, you never know. You might find a, a gyrocopter accessories. The vehicle fuel saver mod schematic. That's an excellent find. We have no inventory space for this 100 shale, which is actually a pretty decent little chunk when you're just finding it on its own. But again, there's probably not much reason to carry it right now. We could just go dig up as much as we want in the desert. I mean, don't have an auger handy to really make that happen, but we can do that. Oh, hi, guys. Well played. Well played. I don't know why I grabbed the shotgun. I just kind of wanted to grab the shotgun. So we're going to go shotgunning for a little while, I think. And if I have to reload after every shot, oh boy, is this ever going to be an awful, awful video. You're welcome. Let's take all those shotgun shells since we just used some. Oh, the peas are good. We do want the peas. Uh, scrap and scrap. I kind of do want the burning shaft mod. I like having extras of those, and I don't know that we have many of them. We probably do, and I just don't remember. Here, let's get rid of that guy. Oh, goodness. Look at all this crap we have. There's, like, literally no reason for it. No reason whatsoever. I mean, I guess we can scrap those. We, we're not, we're not going to break our leg today, I have decided. Hey, scrap iron schematic. Look at that. And just like that, we no longer have room for anything again. My goodness. How does this keep happening? Oh, did we drop some cloth, right? Yeah. I knew that. Here. Drop those. Grab those. Use that recipe. Craft that. Take that. There we go. Okay. And then we still don't have room for that, so... Trade you. Perfect. Let's call it good. You don't have your face anymore. That seems to be a problem for you, unless so for me. That's definitely a you problem, not a me problem. And we'll go ahead and use this guy right now, since we can use a little bit of health. How you doing? It's funny, I remember using the shotgun, I don't know, a few, a few episodes ago. Maybe three, four at this point, I don't remember. Really, truly don't. And I had, like, no aim. 
I don't remember why. It must have been because it was a wasteland and maybe guys were moving a little faster or something. But today, I think I've missed one headshot. I don't know. You can tell me. I, I might have missed more than that. But I'm feeling pretty good about that little uh, demonstration of zombie wreckification. Like, that went pretty darn well. Let's go ahead and hit the Savage Country, and then we're going to hit the Shotgun Messiah. I mean, we still... <laughs> Still don't have any inventory, so here, let's just drop some of these guys. I, I just honestly don't even care. Machete, baton parts. I'm keeping bow and spear just because I'm going to be a jerk. Actually, we don't even need to keep spear. I take that back. Bow we will keep just because we could potentially make a better bow. I mean, we've only got a quality four that we're using right now, so we could do something better than that. I mean, that was kind of cheating right there to get that headshot, I admit. I mean, I just I just waited until she lined up her head. And then problem solved. I mean, I'm thinking these are headshots, but it's kind of hard to tell because this guy is big and beefy. Oh, hi. All right, let's do this. Let's see if we can get him on fire. Can we light him on fire? No. Okay. We'll just go ahead and roll through here. He'll be in in a moment. Not really worried about him, per se. There you are. Yeah, I think those are hitting, but they're just kind of... They're just not hitting him solidly. His health was definitely dropping, but he also is one of those radiated biker dudes, and those are one of the beefier regular zombies in the game. Oh, look at that. That is good stuff. Um, scrap that, take the rest, and then we need to get our last two bombs on the thing here. Oh, goodness. These are the last two, huh? Okay. It'll be fine. That's just a crap bow, and we'll take a honey. That's fine. And then just knock open these last two guys here. Give me something good. I will take that. Jester's last laugh. That's from Ranger Mod. That is not from Romero Mod, just to be perfectly clear with you. We will take that, and I am very pleased to see that. Although I think in the total grand scheme of usefulness, maybe that's not the most useful one, but it is a fun one. I like it just the same. I mean, we could use it, but I think the way we've kind of been going in this series, maybe not the uh, the best find we could get. I'm just, at this point, I'm just glad that we finally found another one of those. Like, no joke. Ah, uh, sure, we'll take that and then scrap it. We might be able to use these guys. You know, look at that. So I was just thinking, I believe we are only using quality three gloves currently. So let's go ahead and put those on there and then we'll wear those. And we're going to take off that helmet light mod. And then we're just going to scrap all these guys here. We'll just drop that. We don't even need that. So that was not bad. We did get a couple of uh, small upgrades out of this. And we got some arrowheads, which I will always take any of those that we can get. And then the gloves, I mean, yeah, sure. I'll take the gloves. I'm not upset with that. And this is going to be a small shotgun messiah, so we're not really going to get a lot of a lot of this one. A lot out of this one, I guess I should say. It's a lot of steel tool parts in there. I guess we'll leave that for right now, but there's really not much purpose. I mean, it is what it is, but we could sell them for a good chunk, I guess. So let's go check out this place. Again, this is a pretty small store, so we're not going to get a whole lot in here. Get some ammunition. I feel like I'm in a movie now. I'm using my shotgun to get rid of the glass and to get us inside. Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and scrap that barbed wire mod. Yeah, and trying to remember that they are worth a fair, fair chunk of metal. And if we're not going to take them, we might as well go ahead and scrap them down then, right? So, uh, here, let's go and grab all these guys. Ooh, come on. Repair! Hits. Or not. 
I mean, this is all good stuff, though. Um, take those. We'll take the die. I'm okay with the die. I might even use that right away on something just for the giggles. You know what? I want it on the shotgun. Now that I, I, I say that. Yeah, no, I like the look of that. That's good. I mean, you can't really tell as much <laughs> on this as you can on the uh, tool belt. But uh, no, I like that. That's good. I like that. It's good. It's good. There should be... Isn't there an upstairs in this place? Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong store, because if this is it, well, please let me go. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not what I meant. Yeah, here we go. There's an upstairs right here. So before we go upstairs, let's make sure there's nothing that we want down here. Actually, that is kind of handy here. Since I am using the shovel, I'm just going to commit to that. Hmm. We don't have any cloth, but if we did, that would be more bandages. Hello? Okay, if it's just her, then I'm not going to worry about it. So then we have... It's going to be an elevator or something? How you doing, sir? Oh, uh, boy. All right, I don't remember if there's any decent loot in here, so here, I'll drop those guys. Buy the eye candy. We'll just go ahead and use it straight up. Take our aloe cream. And carry on. I mean, you don't even need... <laughs> you don't even need the... The stealth for this right now. You don't need the surprise attack. Ooh, it got dark. It got really dark. I didn't remember it being this dark. I think it's because it got cloudy and rainy. But, um... Yeah, we don't even need the stealth right now. Let's see, where are we going? I'm so confused. I'm supposed to go up that way, right? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Anyone else? Okay. Go and get a frame in place, I guess. There we go. Anyone up here? Or is it just us birds? I will check this. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll take the eggs because we can turn those into some nice, good quality bacon and eggs. I am A-OK -okay with that. Um, guess we'll go around this way. This seems less problematic to me. And then... I don't remember. This might be the only box in the store. Targets within three meters have a high dismember chance when we're using shotguns. Hey! Look at that! That's exciting! Shotgun Messiah is now done. You can one-shot most wood blocks. And we can bulk craft all shotgun ammo. That is good stuff right there. Man, I'm actually really pleased with that. I know we didn't find a whole lot of loot in here. But holy crap, dude. Is this wood? It's not wood. That was a good find right there. Like, no joke. That was good, good stuff. And because we have just a horde of zombies coming through here, and now now comes the I have no aim portion of the day. Nope. 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 Okay. Yep. A couple of these worked. Let's take care of these guys just for the experience. I mean, this is a good chunk of change right here. And when I say change, I, I, of course, I mean experience change. How you doing, sir? I mean, it was up to about 6,000 there. I kind of lost track. Just keep reloading. Just keep reloading. Yeah. There's another 6,000, basically. And I hear more. I hear more experience. Just winged him there. More experience, please. No. Ah, uh, she did get the head off. That's that's kind of a shame. So, let's see. Uh, if we grab... We have any inventory space? We sure don't. Oh, no, we do have a little bit. Here, can I scrap those guys? Scrap all of them. 
There's a method to the madness, in case you've already forgotten what we're doing here. Recipe, craft those, and then drop those. And just like that, we have some extra crap. And I will use one of those right away. And look at that. We're in a pretty good spot. I think we're going to call that one good for today. It's probably time to go back to the base. I mean, we've basically been playing with full inventory for a couple of days now. And, and I mean, just looking at what we got in here, there's definitely some crap we can get rid of. Like, no joke. But at the same time, I kind of don't want to get rid of some of these things. So I'm inclined not to. I'll meet you back at the base for the next one where we might need to spend some time doing a little bit of crafting. I just got to figure out how to get there first. Catch you that one, Dylan. Thanks for watching. See you later.